In this segment, we're going to give you a brief overview of the upcoming GSEC course. I'm Justin Dennison, a developer who's become more focused on security best practices over the recent years. I have certifications in AWS, uh, Java, as well as some Node certifications. And along with me is Mr. Daniel Lowry. Daniel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, no problem. I've been in IT for a little over 20 years now. My recent focus has been more on the security side of things. I have done both network and um, systems administration as well. Hold certifications from different vendors throughout from EC Council, uh, CompTIA, Microsoft, as well as having just industry experience. I, I've worked in the field doing this for large corporations as well. So that brings me to the end of my uh, basic work experience for you there. All right, enough about us, yeah, right? Yeah, so we're, we're, we're focused on GSEC. What's in it for me by taking this course? What's in it for you is a DOD certification. Well, a DOD authorized certification, right? The old 8570, which is now under the umbrella of like the 8410 or something like that. But think 8570, that's where you want your mind to go. That allows you to partake into government or um, sponsored types of work. So if you're looking for a job in the government sector, this certification can help you out with that because it's probably going to be a necessity for you to even be able to apply for said job. So this is the, the big takeaway from taking this exam is going to be that 8570 compliance. All right, so we have this overarching goal in mind, but sometimes that seems a little insurmountable. Can you give us a little brief overview of the course goals and structure? Yeah, so the course goals are going to be basically give you a very broad and yet decent look at security at large for today's market. You're going to take a look at things like password mon uh, monitoring and policies. You're going to understand how to do security in both Windows and Linux environments. You're going to understand uh, things like incident response. You're going to look at things like frameworks, standards, all the wonderful, all-encompassing things that apply to a security practitioner in today's market. We're gonna walk through just about everything and touch on a lot of different stuff. Many objectives, if you take a look at their list on the GIAC's website, you'll see how many objectives there are, which I think is 32 or 33 of them covering from soup to nuts, the security experience. All right, now to keep our time moving, tell us a little bit about the certification because, right, I gotta get that certification. I need to know a little bit about that as well. That's right, ultimately, you're gonna wanna take this information. You wanna go into an exam booth and take an exam. A couple of particulars about said exam is it is a proctored exam. You will go in and uh, there will be somebody proctoring you. Not a big, not a big deal, right? Because we're not gonna cheat on that. We would never even think of that. But some other uh, specifics, you have a five hour time limit. Most people tend to go around two from what I've seen, uh, but you can go up to five hours because it is kind of a lengthy exam. 180 questions they're going to give you, okay? Passing score is gonna be of around 73%, or not around, it will be 73% and higher will give you a passing grade. And then comes the price of this. It is uh, a bit much, so it is an investment into your future, which will be $1,999.99, right? Tipping the scales at a cool 2K. So be prepared to put that on the barrel head and walk away, hopefully, with certification in hand is what we're going to attempt to do for you in this series. I tell you what, Daniel, that's a pretty sizable investment, so you might have to sell me. Why are you excited about this course? I'm excited about it because you get to talk about a lot of different security aspects, not just from one side or the other, but both either blue teaming or red teaming, so from a defense or an offensive attack posture uh, to try to help uh, the, the defending side do a better job to see how they fair against different types of cyber attacks. So we're, we're kind of walking around the entirety. Like I said, it's a very large, broad landscape of security, which I, I think is really good to have as far as a knowledge base of security if you are going to be a security practitioner. So from management to engineering to analyst, we're going to cover all that stuff from soup to nuts when it, uh, on both sides of the fence, uh, offensive and defensive. All right, Daniel, well, that sounds like a great time, and hopefully it does to you. We'll see you in the next episodes coming up.